Good evening. Well, today's been a bit odd. <clears throat> Not for any extreme reasons. Uh, got up, remembered that the Mass Effect Legendary Edition comes out tomorrow. And took a chance. Um, asked Mom if she'd get it for me. And surprisingly, she said yes. <laughs> so, according to the order, that should be here tomorrow. But I'm not keeping my fingers crossed because it has not updated all day. So, like, it still says processing order. But then again, I don't know. Um, maybe their system's just being crap. <clears throat> or something. But either way, that's exciting. Um... I also shaved my chest for some reason. Like, it started I was just going to trim my chest. Because, I don't know, you just, sometimes you don't want to be as hairy. <laughs> and then that became cutting it close with my razor, no, with my, my beard trimmer, no guard. And then I didn't like the sandpaper feeling. So, while I was um, cleaning up my head, I said, whatever, I'm just going to run the razor up at this one time, and it actually worked really well. So I just said, screw it, <laughs> and just kind of shaved all of it. It's weird. Um... don't like being hairless. Well, I mean, it's not like it's bothering me or anything, but sensations are a bit weird. Um, because I'm not used to, honestly, a level of insulation that my chest hair was. Uh, so that's the thing. Other than that, I um, gave in and started a New Game Plus run of Horizon on Ultra Hard. And it's been fun, actually. I've just been shotgunning it, like as quickly as I can, shotgunning everything. Um, and honestly, one of the most fun uh, little changes because like ultra hard affects some things uh, I don't know the exact stats on stuff but like um, one thing that is for certain is enemies are far more aggressive like they will search for you much more aggressively um, just like random packs of machines will engage you from much further off um, machines that usually spook and run will stand their ground. Um, which they kind of start doing anyway later in the game, but like from, from the get go now, they'll, they'll, if you like run into a pack that usually all runs away, at least one of them is going to stand its ground and fight you. <laughs> so that's a thing. And, the littlest one that's kind of made it the most fun, and I, because I thought this would be infuriating, but in fact, it, it, um, it's actually made it more interesting. No enemy health gauges. Um, and one of the reasons I like that is more than once in my previous playthrough, I'd think, oh, one more quick arrow on um, some of the bigger enemies. And that usually would get me killed. Uh, I think, oh, I can just get the shot off real quick. Oh, no, wait, this one. Oh, wait, no, this one. Oh, God, why isn't it dying? And then get mauled or something. <laughs> so it's kind of more fun to have to make every single shot count. Um, as if it was the first one you were placing. 
as is, I, I, I think I'm coming up on halfway through. Um, I've done several major story points already with about four to six more. I don't know. Like, I'm, I just kind of want to get through it as quickly as I can. Um, to sort of to earn the rewards for finishing the game on that because there's no minimum completion um, rating for needing to finish it there's just you know finish on ultra hard to unlock extra cosmetics and stuff and also a trophy and I've I've become a soft core completionist um, at least with games I really love, like uh, Persona 5 I completed twice, um, as in the base game and Royal, uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake I completed, um, which that one I did not think I was going to do, and then and then hard mode actually ended up being fun. Just because of, um... Well, I won't spoil specifics. If you didn't know, after you finish the game the first time, you can play it again on hard mode. Um, in which you just, you just can't use items. Um, but also... Bosses have some extra moves and slightly modified move sets so it's not just it's not just the same fight but this time the boss has twice as much HP no like they do different things and it makes it it's it's like really fun when you think you got the boss cornered and they pull out something and you're just like Jesus Christ what is that oh my god <laughs> And also, just combat is so much fun in FF7 Remake. It just really, really is. I think out of everything I played last year, whether it was new or my first time playing it or even replaying it, that had the most fun active combat. Um, just every hit feels really good um or in the case of playing as uh the character with a gun um i don't know why i'm not even like saying their name but i'm not gonna i don't know maybe because you need to go play it if you have it <laughs> but playing you know like that they just they're such a fun groove to settle into um, like literally every character is super fun to play and they play differently um, like one's your standard heavy sworder you have a gunner you have a martial artist and um, a mage and they all play playing as the martial artist is kind is almost like playing a fighting game it's that kinetic and well no I won't say it that way it's more like playing a um, one of those classic beat-em-ups <laughs> but it's 3d just but just, because they don't have like intricate combos or anything but they do have one of the most interesting uh, special systems and the ability to really rack up damage modifiers, uh, which the whole party can exploit. In fact, they're, I think they're the only character that can do that. And that can just, that can really pay off for heavy bosses, especially if you have your limit charged to, to really make good use of that 300 times damage.
But yeah, that's that was my day. Bare chest and all. I am I am getting tired. Uh, when I got in the bed, I made the mistake of doing one more raid fight in Opera Omnia, and it took a little bit. Um, so I'm getting more tired by the minute, so I need to get this processing so I can get it uploading before I fall asleep. So I will uh, catch you all tomorrow. Hopefully, with Tales of Mass Effect Remastered. I'm, I'm excited. Cautiously, just in case it doesn't get here tomorrow. Alright, I'll catch you all tomorrow.